guys, it's Savannah here. I want to hop on and share another tutorial with you guys for the Digital Dash Box products. Digital Dash is an online subscription. Um, you get digital goodies every single month for your planner. We have over 17 planner sizes. It's $9.95 a month, and you get all of the planner sizes, all of the inserts, all of the dashboards for that one price, and it's an amazing value. So today we have our brand new item that we have in our kits, and these paper bow clips. Look at these. They're so cute. I love them. You can see they're double-sided printed, so you get color on all sides and even the inside. Super, super, super cute. So these are so easy. I mean, they look complicated. They look so adorable, but they literally take you seconds. It's amazing. So with the kit, there are two different options. We have the hand cut version, and that's what this will look like. It'll be there in the bow hand cut. And these are basically ones that you just cut along the outside, super easy, and you'll cut, this is the back, this is the bow, and this is what wraps around it. So you'll cut all of these out. We have, um, I think, six colors this month, and you'll assemble them. So the hand cut bows are PDF files. So to get different sizes, this is what it comes out as, is the larger bow, you can see here. Super, super cute. Um, to get different sizes, you would just scale down the PDF print. So when you go to print, you can say print at 20%, print at 30%, and you'll get different size bows. So that's really fun. That way you can get like small ones, or say you want one big one, or you want like six small ones across the top of your planner. It's super easy and super fun. And if you have a silhouette cutting machine, then you'll open up the silhouette file, and that's what this will look like. So you'll have the registration marks up there, and the boxes of color. So you'll flip it around. I didn't do it on this side, but um, there's two files. There's front and back. So you'll print the front out, then you'll put it back in your printer, you'll flip it upside down, and you'll print the back file out. And that'll give you the double-sided print right there. So you'll see here how these are printed on both sides. That will help you on here. You'll see when you fold it, you can still see the other side of it. So if you print double-sided, it'll be full color all around. And if you only print on one side, then the inside right here will be white. So, I mean, it, it would look cute either way, but personally, I just like it all one color. I think it just looks way cuter. So, to assemble the actual bows, it is ridiculously easy. So, you have these three pieces. So, I'll move those aside. So, you have the backing piece, you have the bow, and you have the little wraparound. So, what I use for these, I use glue dots. I mean, you can use anything else. You can use hot glue, you can use glue sticks, you can use um, tape runner adhesive, basically anything that'll stick. I personally, I these are my absolute favorite. I use these on everything. They're so easy and they're like instant. They're mini dots, so they're nice and tiny. You can use them on pretty much any project. I love using these to stick things to my dashboards, um, like leaves or anything cute. They're super awesome and they stick really well. So with these, they come on a roll. You can see here, I used quite a bit of this roll. And first thing first, you will lay that middle down. Then I take this middle bow part and you're gonna fold it over. So you're gonna fold this over to go to the middle right there. But first what I do is I stick both sides with a glue dot. So there's both sides have a glue dot. So then I'll take this and I'll stick it right in the middle and then you take this side, fold it over, go right to the middle. So see how cute it's already turning into a little bow. <laughs> I love it. So then you'll take the back and I do another glue dot right on the back. So you'll see there, right in the middle, just another little glue dot. And then you're gonna line it up with the back piece. That's a little bit harder to do. So then I just take that and then stick it down. And then there you go, it's actually really cute like that. <laughs> and then what you want to take is a little strip and I do a glue dot on one side. So you can see there, one side, a little glue dot. And then on the back I just lay it down and this is the easiest way that I found to get it centered because if you're just laying it down on the back I don't know, it kind of tends to like go askew and go from one side to the other. So I like just laying it down and then I eyeball the center 
like that and then just stick it down you'll see that it is stuck to the back now this is where you can get kind of creative you can either finish it by wrapping it around and just have a cute bow or you can put it on a paper clip and I absolutely love <laughs> love how these look on paper clips they're so cute so with these I use a rose gold paper clip but on this one I'm gonna use a gold one I think they both look really 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 pretty because they're both pretty much fall colors in my mind and I love how they look so if you're gonna use a paper clip what you're gonna do is before you seal it out you're gonna put this around there so you're gonna loop that right behind there and then I just kind of stick it up just a little bit and then I wrap it around and then before you glue it down you're gonna take another glue dot to the other side so you're gonna just stick that glue dot right there so you can see there's one right on the back and then take that and then you just loop it around and you stick it on the back like that and then you have an adorable little bow paper clip it's so cute I love it these are so pretty they totally match the kit this month um, every month I'm gonna try to do a few and have them match the kit maybe some months will be like patterns and I don't know I just think they're really really cute and they add a lot to the top of my planner I think that's really cute so that is our tutorial on how to make these super easy um, like I said you get both files in the digital kit and they will be under there um, the hand cut file also has a printout instruction assembly so it kind of it steps you through like step by step it's not picture it's just written but it's a nice guideline too to help you if you don't want to watch the video or if you don't have time it's a nice easy um, step by step instructions and also in the silhouette file you'll have the same instructions but they're going to be on the left hand side of the silhouette file so out of the um, cut area over to the left on the gray area you'll have the instructions on that side too so kind of help you all if you don't want to just hop on YouTube and watch the video you can just follow the instructions so I am so excited to have these in the kit um, again you can sign up for this at digital-box.com and I hope you guys love it